so then. Well, the coof has not entirely claimed me yet. I'd like to ramble a bit about this little game. Because I just finished it recently. And, well, there's some shit about it. Some things I especially don't like. No. Where is that thing that I'm looking for? Is it really not there? Hmm. Seems like it is not. Well, never you mind then. Anyhow, the thing about this game is that. <coughs> Let's take a look see. The thing is, is that Dr. it's. Just across the complex. God damn it. It's not super difficult. It's in fact fairly easy for someone that <laughs> has actually been quite close to a professional FPS player. And there's a thing about this game. And that thing is that how does it define difficulty? And it has a very peculiar definition of difficulty. And I can show it to you right here and right now. I'm too busy blabbering to play properly. Sorry. Which is, it's not difficult for me to execute these things. Because, as said, I'm actually a very competent FPS player. But, how do we make it harder for me to execute things? Well, the way the game thinks, or rather the people behind the game think, you make things harder is well let's just show it off shall we yeah 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 blah blah all the wickedness that mankind can produce i'll show you what real difficult looks like rip and tear until it is done so, what does real difficult look like? Well, here's the fucking zombie. 45 damage. Oh, so fucking hard, dude. Oof. I'm sweating. Absolutely sweating. Actually, I'm not really sweating. <laughs> I'm pretty damn old. Because. Things doing like a million damage. Uh, it doesn't exactly change how hard it is to execute on things, do you know? No. In fact, it does nothing at all to how difficult it is to execute on things. Oh, making things do a billion damage does is simply make it so that each and every time you fuck up yeah just hit me with your best shot 25 damage come on man 23 yeah oh that's a 45 ish one i think it doesn't really fundamentally change much I still find it easy to hit things and all that shit. 
all of this is force me to play slightly less recklessly. <laughs> and this is an example of the game bugging out. Yee ha ho ho. That never happens. Speaking of playing recklessly. Guess what fucks you up more than anything when playing recklessly? I'll give you a hint. It's not the enemies being hard. No. It's mechanics bugging out and throwing your game plan completely out the window. And now you have to suddenly adapt to a new game plan while making an escape from the stupid situation you put yourself into by not fucking up, but by the game fucking up. <laughs> And if you're playing on a difficulty where each and every little mistake results in just dying horribly and you can only die once, because that's real hardcore, bro, then the game fucking up is absolutely unacceptable. But how do we make it so that it's much harder to execute while not cranking you know, while not whipping you for each and every single mistake artificially it's quite simple actually here yeah, let me struggle a bit with the game by simply raising its goddamn speed by 50%, which is a lot actually. Now, one funny side effect of doing that is that you may notice in the top right that instead of the fucking 200s of frames that I got previously, I've locked at fucking 60 frames per second. That's a funny feature that's been there since Doom 4. And I'll just say I don't really like it because I'm on a 240Hz monitor, dude. I'd like to get those damn frames so I can see what the hell I'm shooting. So excuse me as I'm playing with a certain handicap. Anyhow, can I somehow delete this safe? I don't think so, actually. It's kind of weird. Ah, there it is. Delete, yes. Now, let me show you something that's actually pretty fucking brutal. And this is just ultra violence, because it's Against less stupid than Nightmare, I find. But the game is 50% faster. <laughs> what does that we mean? It means that it's actually pretty damn tricky to do things. I mean, look at these boys, dude. A comment for me. And I'm gonna miss quite a bit more now, since I only get one fourth the fucking visual information as I'm trying to shoot things. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna suddenly start sucking at hitting things. Ah, it does not. However, it does mean that it's much more uncomfortable to... Which you might. God damn it. <laughs> As you might be able to tell already, one of the things that it's definitely gonna make harder is platforming. <laughs> Because <laughs> everything's fucking 50% faster. Jesus Christ. Mind you, this is just the start of the game, which is very easy indeed. That's relevant to point out is because this 
not an awful lot going on here, except that I'm not terribly, terribly bored trying to do this. Which is a positive. It doesn't bore me to death, unlike trying to do this on Ultra Nightmare. Uh, the hardest of calls. Where I get to take off my fucking health pool and damage <laughs> from goddamn zombies. Yes, it's very cool. Very nice. Here's a funny trick for you. You leave that butt there, then when you get the assault rifle and you get to the end of the level, you just fast travel back here and get the other upgrade. And it's kind of useful. It's not super, super useful, but it is pretty neat. Oh, and as you might notice, I'm already struggling a little bit. It's no coincidence, uh, the game with a fourth the frames and 50% <laughs> more things happening every second, yeah, it's actually pretty damn difficult. I wouldn't think so, based on how I'm not actually struggling very much. But hey, that's kind of why I'm arguing for it. <laughs> Uh, I like going fast, dude. I want to go fast, as a man once said. But I very much agree with that notion. I just want to go fucking fast, dude. The last thing. Oh, that was good. No. So, <coughs> what's the point overall? Well, the overall point is that instead of making higher difficulties be all about how much we fucking pump the enemies and make them do stupid amounts of damage because that's a fun question mark and what we do instead is simply race the fucking time scale what this accomplishes is making everything way the fuck harder. There's many more things happening every second compared to what you do when you see it. Oh. Yes, we are not invulnerable. <laughs> Even though this is ultra violence and it's not actually ridiculous how much damage you take. I'm fully capable of dying. <laughs> because the game is currently 50% faster. And I don't think you would appreciate just how much faster that is unless you play it yourself. But just trust me, it is very, very much harder than normal. Mm -hmm. Since I'm a fucking nerd, I'm just gonna try not to die, pretending that I only have a single life, even if that is not the case. And why would I do that one? Because I'll be fucking honest with you. Ultra Nightmare is, is so fucking boring, dude. It's not even truly harder. It's just way more boring. Do I look like I want to be fucking bored to death? No. 
I think I'd rather be challenged to death. It's, I certainly can be challenged to death if I try enough. Nightmare, I'd be fucking dead because the thing is like retarded amounts of damage. Instead, I'm just barely fucking making it out. Which I can appreciate. Because I love chaos. It's very cool. I love struggling. And. That's not what I do on Nightmare. Or should I say? That's not entirely true. I do struggle on Nightmare. <clears throat> I struggle starting games on Nightmare because I'm falling asleep. And that just makes it a little hard, don't you think? Oh. Not to die. Got any spicy news? Oh, <laughs> I hit him. It's hard for me to see if I hit things or not. You know, <laughs> one fourth the frame is all empty. The boom. Shit, the spider not dies here. Boom. There we go. Now, where's the next guy? There he is. Hello there. Would you like to die? Yes, I'm sure you would. Now, I am aware that enemy behavior is slightly different between ultraviolence and Nightmare, there it is. Let's see. The solution then is to simply make enemy behavior and damage values the same. Across the different fucking difficulty levels. And then we simply differentiate how hard the game is based on how damn fast it is. Which is a pretty realistic way of doing difficulty. Because the faster the game goes, the harder it is to perform everything it demands of you. And ah, there it is. And funnily enough, one of the most forward looking games of its time, Daggerfall of all things, actually featured this as a feature. Uh, you could set just how hardcore of a goddamn gamer you were, and it would adjust its fucking game time, uh, time scale. So that if you're a hardcore fucking nerd that goes fucking fast and hits heads for fun and profit, uh, you can. Uh, then you could set that setting and it would gladly oblige. And if you were not a fucking lead gamer I could do such things you would set the time scale lower that would make it manageable for your 
<laughs> less extreme skills. And, and this is a pretty funny point right here. I happen to have grinded a fair bit of music playing in my day. And what do you do if you want to learn a damn song? I'll tell you what you do. You start off by playing it really slowly. And then you eventually play it faster. And faster. And so you can play it at its normal speed. And then if you want to get even better, you go even faster than normal. So much shit happening. Save me, Dr. Dick. Uh, where was I? Ah, yes. So I think I got to the point where if you want to learn a damn song, you, funnily enough, start by playing it slowly and then playing it faster and faster. Until when you really want to get good at the song, you play it even faster than normal. Because in doing so, then when you have to play it normally, you're playing it in slow motion. Which is how you learned it in the first place, because it's easier that way. And by making your <laughs> so-called normal practicing speed entirely too fast, you're making it much easier to play normally. And so, you would achieve the same in video games by doing <laughs> exactly that. Come get me. Now. Excuse me. I've got things to kill right now. I don't really seem to want to die, so. What can I say to that? Now this situation again, no fuck you. I'm finding some damn ammo. Or a tentacle. That's not what I have to do. Thanks. Goodbye, Mr. Gun. Goodbye, Mr. Gun. Would you like to play? I oh, know I'd like to play. Now, sorry, I kind of got lost there, but last I think I was running home the point of why well, it's a good idea to make difficulty the time scale. And I even repeated it. <laughs> And that's how you run a point home, isn't it? This is not a hundred percent run, sorry. I don't care. I'm just using this as handy dandy de demo for it to do this point. <laughs> uh. What else is there to say about this game? The current mayor is present at this gathering. When outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Indestructible. No one can pass the gate. This stops nothing. The sacrament of this to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be destroyed from the soul. Of the non-believers. 
There's also something about the story of this game, <laughs> uh, that would be quite something. Like, like, so much fucking noise going on right now in the game, sorry. No. The story of this game. What can I say? Except for the fact that... Sorry, but... Shut the fuck up, video game. Now... The story of this game is probably a subject for another day and another video, however... I'd like to comment that um, the setting seems to be pretty good and a friend points out that it seems to be sort of a ripoff of Hellgate London because it has Templars and shit and that's what you have in this game too and shit Ooh. Uh, but uh, the problem with the story is that it's, now that I finished it, it was exactly as I had feared that it would be, which is that instead of something interesting, some sort of fucking, <laughs> uh, you could say, a greater meaning but it's a bit stuck up and shit. Oh, this some room for some interesting messages to be put into the damn game and uh, they completely f fucking <laughs> ignore that and go yippee guy hey motherfucker this is America we're a nihilistic bunch of nip fuckers and we're just gonna destroy everything cause that's how we do, man. That's just how we do. I am Doom Guy. I am the Doom Slayer. I destroy everything. LOL. XD. <laughs> and then he killed everyone. <laughs> okay. How interesting. Is there anything more to say and to comment on? I'm not sure. I'm starting to get a little bit lost. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm giving it the big thing, but I'm not getting anywhere, sorry. I guess I'm just gonna continue demonstrating <laughs> uh, an increase in time scale being pretty damn difficult. Yeah. Even for some giga nerd like me. Pretty difficult to do shit. <laughs> Can't do that much. Increase 
increasing the time scale. It increases the fucking chaos of this game, which is humorously not already pretty high for most people. Ah yes, now I know what to talk about. Thank you, Brain, for coming back to me after this brief reprieve and killing off more bean ones from Hillel. Demons from Hillel. Yes. So, apropos time scale. How much faster would you have to go? And how much slower would you go if you wanted to make it easier? Yeah. Matter of the fact is that you can't go too slowly. That just makes everything trivial. Not only trivial, but also rather slow. is the opposite of what you really want in an action game like this. So then, how much slower can we go? Well, I would wager that something like 25% would likely do the trick. Or ask, how much faster can we go? Well, you're watching me play it at 150% normal speed and I'm semi-struggling, but that's in part due to me fucking blabbering like crazy. But this is most likely the close to the upper range of where you would comfortably go. In the most extreme case. get to go fast. What a cute cutscene. We are the Templars. Yes, very good. Eggs did. Oh. Now. So, you can go as slow as 75% game speed. Right makes the game significantly easier, but not overly so. Holy hell, these guys are pretty tough to hit when, they, when everything is going this fast. Uh-oh, is it time to die? Maybe, Maybe not. You never know. Maybe. It isn't. After all, I am a master of disaster. I'm pretty good at what I do. There you go. Not good yet. So, since I like repeating myself so much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, they go. I know, I know. 75% is likely as low as you can take it. But, you can probably, if you want to be very, very flashy, <laughs> take it to... 66.6% .6 faster than normal. Well, it's just pure show off. And also, a funny number. <laughs> Welcome to heck. But in between that, I'd say. Remind me of something. I forgot to get a weapon out there. Oh well. What? No big monster. 
Good, I'm telling you. Oh, well, they can dash now. That's, that's true. If you've got friends and they don't dance, then they are no friends of mine. Because we do the safety dance. Oh god, dude. <laughs> Walking into torches. Imagine playing this game on this speed while blabbering on about a bunch of dumb shit. No one truly cares about this. It's not very pleasant. So, to reiterate myself for what must be the fifth time, 75% is as low as we can go, while 166% is likely as high as we can possibly go, while the game remains controllable. In quotation marks, because it's already fucking hellish. At this speed, if I'm to be perfectly honest with you. Booga booga. 360 no scope. <laughs> I didn't expect to hit that one, but I did. Maybe because I'm a fucking elite gamer, huh? Oh, actually, yeah. Not even funny. Oh. A middle step between 75 would likely be 90%. But then you're awfully close to 100%. But I guess that's the point of being slightly, but only slightly, easier than normal. So it sort of works in that aspect. Huh. Isn't there a secret somewhere? I think so, but I don't really care. Ah, yes. Not for me. Not thinking. That's a good old thinking emoji. The normal fucking difficulty. Hurt me plenty, please. Ultra violence would naturally be faster than normal. How much faster is up for the day? Probably something like 15% wouldn't be too bad. Nightmare would naturally go a bit further. That's something like 40% more. Nothing too spectacular. Not very low either. <laughs> Pretty hard. Unless I do something about it. Ah, oh, there we go. No longer dying. Which is also why the current nightmare is not really fighting. Just dying in this game is not really a matter of getting 
outplayed by being overwhelmed. It's more about being bored to death and <laughs> killing yourself essentially. I guess that's just people like me. Huh? Yeah, see, doing things like that is how you kill yourself. And why would I do that? Because so I'm fucking bored, dude. Step it up, demons. Give me a fucking show. Exactly how you'd fucking step out the speeds is sort of up in the air. But generally, it gets quite a bit harder the further up you go, because it might look like I'm handling plus 50% rather trivially, but bear in mind, I find this game trivial to play normally. <laughs> so, me not struggling with the game being way the fuck faster is not really surprising. It's, it was way, way, way too easy for me previously. Someone who might have already had a rough time on ultra violence. Yeah, those people were probably struggle quite a lot at 120 percent speed. Uh, so the, the point of a higher difficulty is it not to make people who would otherwise find something too easy struggle. You know, relive being bad at the game. That's not what the difficulty levels in this game currently accomplished. I don't like that. I think it could be done better. And so I ramble about it incoherently, because I have nothing better to do right before I get BTFO'd by Corona Chan. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Huh? So for some reason, Lost Souls kind of broken in this game. That's part of the big laundry list of buggy things in this game. And funnily enough, I don't know of any way to report bugs to them. And their own fucking email doesn't even fucking work. Fun fact. Probably didn't know that, but you know now. Boom. Wow, I hit that. And I hit that. And I didn't hit that, but I hit that. And I hit that. Yuck. Goodbye, Mr. Captain. Speaking of bugs... You see this? That's progress you can't make, because... Oh, there are diamonds in this place! And you must kill all diamonds before you can proceed. But... What demons are there? Well... I'm sure you've already spotted this guy, but... Does this guy look threatening to you? I don't think so. What's this guy gonna do to me? Fucking die on me and make me die from fucking seeing him die on me? That's a bit strange. And you kill that guy and suddenly you can proceed. There are many such oversights in this game and as 
I just said the there doesn't seem to be any place where you can fucking mail them in. Oi, mate, are you sure that's a good idea? Question mark. But <laughs> who am I to judge them, eh? Surely they are much better at their job than me. Smiley face. After all, they are professional game developers and they've worked hard on this for four years. So, surely some dipshit only had 30 ish hours <laughs> with this game. Couldn't possibly tell something is wrong with it. <laughs> so that's exactly what I've been doing <laughs> my entire time playing it. Because <laughs> I'm an analytical piece of shit. There's a reason I spent 30 hours on the game, and it's not because of just breeze through it as I've been doing here. No, I actually went around everywhere, looked at all the pretty scenery, because there's a lot of sightseeing to be had in this game. And speaking of sightseeing, where the butts at, mister? There's a striking lack of big sexy butts in this game. I am very disappointed. Speaking of butts, the cyber demon makes a return. And I'd like to raise a few concerns with the cyber demon. Actually speaking just that. Fuck that. Let's go into the beaten game. And take a look see at Mr. Cyber Demon. If I can find the place. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, 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 that can be a problem. Figuring out where the hell your damn place is. Uh, let's see. Where is it? I think it's that place. Okay, so it's this one. Yes. The gate thingy. Now we go in here and take a look see at our toys. Uh, there he is. The Cyber Demon, what a sexy lad. Uh, yes, he is quite sexy in this game. However... What it, what's that, man? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where's his big sexy butt? Uh, it's not cool. And by the way, why does he have uh, an elephant slash foreskin foot slash leg slash what the fuck, dude? It's kind of weird, man. Did you realize that you could? I don't know. I just. Given him goat legs like he used to have, and then he'd have cool feet just like he used to have. Instead of, uh, you know, instead of this stuff, you. So, yes, cyber demons, no butts, weird legs, uh, otherwise, very sexy. I think that's actually a nice metaphor for this game. It's very nice, actually. But, for mysterious reasons, there's a lack of butt and some questionable decisions contained within. And that is all. And for now, i leave you with some th a face you should kiss. <laughs> Goodbye.